So we've got Durace versus the 105. We're gonna weigh it out. So first we'll go with the 105. Excuse the camera work here. It's professional. So we've got 354 for the 105, 5800. 354. We have the Durace 305. So we're saving 49 grams. And the, these you get for about 120 bucks. These are gonna be like at least 500, four, four to 500, maybe even more. Chain rings, I'm using some absolute black here, it's a 4036. And we see they're 127 grams. Using Stages Power Meter, Durace, Stages Power Meter. 180, so the lightest weight power meter you can get. Let's just double check these weights and these things. So 127, these are absolute black, oval chain rings. I like them, they feel smooth. We're gonna have the 105 chain rings on there. So it's 127 grams, isn't it? So yeah, we so we save a lot. They're very, very, so we're saving, you're gonna save more with the chain rings than you would going from 105 to Durace. You're gonna save, you know, a lot more. So we're saving maybe 60 grams, is that right? 60 grams, just for chain ring changes. All right, so there you go. That's Durace versus 105. Now, shall I go get some Durace chain rings and we'll weigh those up? Because these are absolute black. 4630. Good for adventure climbing. Alright, so we have some chain rings. The Durace 9000. Shall turn this bad boy on? And we're going to see how much these weigh. This is the Durace 9000. Took them off and by Defy. 5034. And we have. Oh, I can't even see that in there. Oh, get down low, go, go, go. Get down on the floor and roll it. Uh, zoom it in, please. We have 138 grams. In, it was 100, it was 130, here we go, 138 grams. So the absolute black rings are absolutely the lightest you're gonna be getting. So there you go, and they shift really good. All right, so and for total transparency, absolute black did send me these out. They like my work and I like their product work as well, so. It's a win-win. Absolute black. Saving the grams. So do you, what do you think? Is it worth spending the extra three, four hundred dollars to get the Dura Ace crank? Or should you stick with the 5800 105? For 50, about 50 grams difference. Let's say below. 50 grams. Hundreds and hundreds of dollars. If you want to lose weight, get a copy of my ebook, Carbon Fuck Up, or Dream Rider's Lean Body Bible. Links in the description at DreamRider.com. You'll lose kilos. And it'll cost you less than 50 bucks. Or you can spend hundreds of dollars to save 50 grams on a pair of cranks. Insane, isn't it? There you go. High carb, low fat vegan. It works. DuringAudit.com. That's the question answered. So welcome to the Durace. Durace 9100 versus 9000. We're going to test the weight. This is just the right hand crank. 305 grams, 305, we have the latest Dura Ace, 9100, boom, 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 what, it's heavier, 306, excuse the decal, okay, so it's a gram heavier, it's a gram heavier, so there you go, so should you upgrade to the new Dura Ace cranks, um, there's, I mean, if you look, the black color sort of looks nice, but there's no real need to weight-wise, actually, maybe marginally heavier. Uh, but I'm gonna put these chain rings on there. These are super light. These are absolute black. It's a 46, 30. So these are gonna go on, just like we've got these 105 cranks here as well. So there you go. So there's not much difference. There's only about 50 grams difference in the 105 uh, right-hand crank versus the Durances. So should you upgrade, it doesn't matter. Whatever you got on your bike, as long as it's the right length for you, is going to be close enough, it's going to be good enough. So there you go. Weight doesn't really matter that much in terms of Durace 105. It's just the aesthetics that you're buying for, basically. So how to install the absolute black rings on Durace cranks. Got a couple of Durace cranks here. We've got one we prepared earlier. This is a 5800 105. We have the 9100. We've done the weight testing. And we've got the Durace as well. So these are actually heavier, marginally heavier by gram. This right hand crank is heavier than the uh, 9100, so 9000 series rather. So we're going to put these super lightweight 4630 uh, chain rings on the new Dura Ace, and we'll, I'll show you how it's done. So you want to 
want to do is you want to have this curved bit here, this curved part of the chain ring. See how it's got a little curve, like shaved off, I'll show you, here. So this is one where my fingers are here. This is, you want to have it top, top right, all right? So your crank's painting forward like that, and it's going to be in the top right. So if I've got a crank here, this Dura-Ace crank, we know that this little curved bit is going to sit on top there, yeah? So it's on the top, all right? There you go, and that's how you got it. And obviously this pretty, pretty design is facing outwards, facing the viewer. And then you have the inner crank, the inner, sorry, the inner chain ring crank. Uh, we have the inner chain ring, also has a little indentation on there. All right, so that's gonna go behind, that wanna put that behind the crank arm. So it's under my finger right now, and it's gonna go behind the crank arm. And then you notice in these chain rings, they have these little, uh, you know, little nodules, little lumps little lymph nodes, and so these lymph nodes go in to the crank, all right? So they go in, so we're gonna find that little lump, there's that lump there, put the little uh, limps in there, and they're gonna go in on top of that, so I'll show you how it should look. So you have that space there, see that little gap? If you zoom in on here, oh, $800 camera, you think it would be a little bit quicker. You think it would be a little bit quicker. And, uh, but anyway, so there you go. So that's how it's meant to look, all right? You wanna have that gap there. All right, and then the, the chain ring is gonna go on like that. Oh, it looks like this. Beautiful. All right, so you see that? There you go. That's the finished product, so it's like that. And that curved bit, you see that? the curved bit at the top? Just like that's how it's going to look. And then you've got fat and skinny bolts, all right? Fat and skinny. One's a T30, one's a T25 to tighten it up, to a little torque thingies. Uh, I prefer Allen keys, it's a bit easier, but uh, there you go, so it's a T T30 and a T25, tighten them up, you got a big one, big one. It's pretty simple because the holes, the holes on these chain rings, are, it's pretty easy. You can't really get that wrong, can you? But a small hole, you've also got a big hole, alright? So you put the big screw in the big one, little one, little one, it's pretty straightforward. And then that wavy bit, see that little wave one there? See that there, so that's sort of like buffed off, then that goes at the top, top right. There you go. If you have any questions, hit me on the comment section down below. I'll help you out, but that's how it goes.